cell research. It's controversial, yet evolving science, the ongoing breakthroughs giving people a new lease on life. So Dr. Evan Snyder from the Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute is at the forefront of this research. He's here to tell us all about it. Doctor, good morning and thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. So much to talk about. Some of it controversial still, people yes. talking about it. Yes. What are some of the newest things, things that we wouldn't even know of, uh, breakthroughs that are happening right now with stem cell research? So I think there are four areas that really are at the forefront of stem cell research that people may not think about, but are really blazing the trail of getting us into therapies. One is the notion of what we like to call disease in a dish. Mm -hmm. What this means is that you can actually go to a patient with a particular disease, take a skin cell, turn it into a stem cell in a dish, make it into various organs, and in a dish you can model the disease that this patient had. Once you have that, you can test drugs against it to see whether that may change important aspects of the disease. So it's the drug that goes into the patient, oh, wow. not the stem cell not itself. Not the stem cell, but you can test it. Like, What kind of diseases are, are you talking about? Well, any disease for which we don't have good animal models. So we're going for the, for the tough ones, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autism, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. A second important aspect about stem cells is that they actually will protect other cells. Mm -hmm. So even if you do a transplant, you take the stem cell, put it into the damaged area, whether it's head trauma or stroke or spinal cord injury or ALS, and they may protect the cells that are in danger of dying from dying. Okay. A third important area is the, uh, the notion of trying to recreate organs in a dish, so try to make livers and try to make bladders and things of that sort. And then the last important area is the notion that stem cells are able to find pathology, like cancers. Okay. So you take the stem cell, you put in your tumor or cancer killing gene, and the stem cell finds the cancer like a heat seeking missile and delivers its payload and you can go to cancers that may not be otherwise accessible to surgery or chemotherapy or radiation or even gene therapy. When you're referring to these things, are these things that are, are happening right now or happening, they're getting close to? Actually happening these now. These are happening right so now. So okay. some of what I just described, uh -huh. uh, for example, the heat-seeking missile aspect of the stem cell, that's already in clinical trials for brain cancer. Oh, wow. The notion of using stem cells to protect other cells that are damaged in the patient are, is already in clinical trials right now. And getting close may be finding drugs that can be tried in patients or reconstructing organs. Some of that is already in clinical trials in terms of having bladders and things of that sort that you can put into kids that have bladder or uh, kidney diseases. California's investment, because they've spent quite a bit of money yes. in this, is that coming back to the state? I think in a big way. I think since the advent of Proposition uh, 73, we have been able to understand a lot of the fundamental biology that has launched all of these insights and all of these trials. Well, there is so much to talk about, and you actually will be lecturing uh, today. Dr. Evan Snyder talking about stem cells today at 5 o'clock at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center. Uh, $5. It will include all the exhibits and the lecture. Dr. Snyder, thanks for being here. Really interesting stuff. And please come back again anytime uh, newer oh, things come up. It's always fascinating to. to learn about this. Terrific. Yeah, thanks for, thanks having for me. being here. Bye.